Hi Capricorn, I'm G1 Letter with G1 Insights and this is your light and love energy for the month of March and I'm super excited. I am excited Capricorn because this is your breakthrough season. Hello. <laughs> breakthrough. Is there anybody out there that's looking for a breakthrough? Hello. This is the reading for you. Okay. Capricorn, so listen to me. As I told you in December, January, February, I told you the final, th the first three months of the year will be fundamental for you. It will be inspiring out of this box. It may not always feel like it, but it's definitely something to look forward to. You may have moments where you kind of bump your head and got to kind of come back to your senses. You're going to have moments where not everybody agree with you, rather they disagree with you, or people are rather taking your kindness, weakness, well, baby, are you going through a breakthrough? Yeah. <laughs> Capricorn, I'm so proud of you. And I'm so happy for you because you are doing just that. You're going through a breakthrough, honey. You know, my mom used to tell me, birds of a feather flock the fuck together. And you know what? This is the season when you get to flock with the motherfuckers that's actually going someplace. <laughs> the people that really, really do want to see you be successful. Not the ones that are sitting back judging you or calling your names and talking behind you, behind your back and causing you criticism, harsh words from other people. Not the ones that are putting you down and saying that you are worthy of nothing. Hello, Capricorn. You are in serious business this season. And as you begin to humble yourself for the month of March 2020, you realize that all that you thought you used to know no longer matters. Even when it felt right to the core, you realize there is something different about this season. It's something different. You weren't supposed to make it last year. You wasn't supposed to. <laughs> this is the breakthrough season. Remember that moment when you kept sitting and saying, hmm, how come I'm so sick of going through this shit? It's, you know, I'm always going through this. I'm always struggling. How come? How come? Why come? How come not? How come not me? You know, what am I doing so wrong? God, why are you punishing me? Oh, remember that moment? <laughs> this is your breakthrough season, Capricorn. I got excited. Yes, because I have Capricorn in my birth chart. So I was like, yes, bitch, come through. Okay? Capricorn, this is your breakthrough season. You know what that means? That means that you are, by any means necessary, you're pulling the veils off of your eyes. You're willing to see the truth when everyone wanted to hide. When everyone else wanted to keep things a secret. When everyone else wanted to keep you a secret. When everything else was like, shh, don't say nothing. <laughs> you like, move, bitch. Remember I did that for you? A few months ago, what was it, back in November or December? I can't remember which one, which one it was, but I know it was very recent. <laughs> and you were like, move, bitch, get out the way. Oh, Capricorn, they didn't know that you actually meant that. Like, you were dead ass serious when you said that. They didn't know that you had a plan all along. They didn't know that you was going to come in and swipe motherfuckers out. Like, they didn't know. Oh. I feel sorry for people who don't know how crazy Capricorns can really be. Like, oh my God, like you guys have this energy about you. Like sometimes when you really, really want something, you guys are dangerous when you really, really want something because you will go after it and you don't care who say what, how they say it or what they're going to do to try to stop you. No, you will stop them before they can try to stop you. And then at the end of the day, you want to still reach that mountaintop and that makes you even more dangerous. Because you are persistent. And you won't give up until you get to where you're going. So Capricorn, as we introduce you to the month of March. March has some beautiful favors upon you. 
Okay? Need I not be that dramatic, but I can't help myself. Hello? Who in the fuck in this world don't want a little extra cash? A little extra money? What about that promotion that you've been planning for? What about that conversation that you had with your boss and you felt like they were just literally ignoring every little thing you said? And you kept repeating yourself and trying to make yourself known and trying to show your loyalty, but for some reason they did not quite really get it. O-M-G. Hello. Can I say that it is not you that got the competition this time? It is your boss that got the competition because... oh. There are other people that do recognize your work ethic and recognize, like, the kind of person that you are. And now they're fighting to have you on their team. And you're saying to yourself, hmm, but I like it here. And the other team is going, well, we dig your loyalty. We love your style. We love what you represent. And your job might be saying, well, they're good. They're really good at what they do. I see their loyalty, but hmm, I'm still waiting on something. And yet, you're in the middle of, wow, they're waiting on that something. This other team already know what that something is. And so you're standing in the midst of an opportunity that can literally be life-changing. And then it's up to you, Capricorn, to say, you know what? Fuck this. I'm doing my own thing. Or... Am I going to take that leap of faith and trust the universe and trust what spirit has for me? Take a risk and put your true, your heart's true desire into action, my love. That energy did not come out for no reason. What I love about these cards in general is that truth be told came out as well. Right after the door to value. Are you being honest about your core values? What do you really want? What is it that you really need? This is the perfect season for you, Capricorn, to speak it true. Financially, physically, emotionally, sexually, okay? This is the perfect season for you to speak your truth. And if you're not speaking your truth, then you may want to dive a little bit deeper. But honey, I feel like you don't even mind going there. You're going to do it anyway. You're going to take that leap of faith and say, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Capricorn, I'm getting excited. Can you feel my energy, baby? I'm getting excited. <laughs> I'm getting excited because only you can do this to me, Capricorn. Between you and Virgo's energy, like, oh my God. Like, whew. okay? The thinking woman, someone who is very intellectual, thinking all the time, contemplating, organizing, and, you know, building on a lot of structure, making things happen in the right time, the right place for everyone and everything, and then it's divine order. And whoo, you cannot tell me that this is not Virgo's energy. When I see this energy, that is what I think of. I think of Virgo's energy because they are the thinker. They are the one that would think and think and think and think and think and fucking think. And, <laughs> and they will think until you get on your nerves. But... All of that thinking can help you in the time that you need it most. So, yes, it's a lot of processing. Yes, it's a lot of thinking. And, yes, it's a lot of, oh, my God, I don't know what to do, you know, because I love what I do, but I'm not sure if I need to stay here or not because it's not really giving me what I need, Okay. And then suddenly, something appears. Some type of blessing, out of nowhere, presents itself. And you're stuck, and you're going, hmm. Well, where were you for all these months when I was begging you for this? <laughs> like, where were you when I was, like, pleading you and calling you and calling out to you and I needed your attention, I needed your time, I needed your, your conversation, I needed your effort, I needed your push, I needed you to believe in me, like, where were you, like, OMG, that is the moment where you be like, hello, right, well, you gotta really stop and go, hmm, what are my core values, okay, so if I do this, what's gonna matter to me the most, if I take upon this particular position, what is it going to do for me? Is it going to better my situation or is it not? 
And guys, I will tell you, this has everything to do either with your career or either your personal life. Like love, for example, okay? But I also see orphans. And this card troubled me at first because I was like, orphans? You know, like, because I know what that means. And so I was like, orphans? Why would Capricorns feel orphans? Or what is it about this woman's energy that is causing Capricorn to feel orphans? But then I thought about it. Capricorns, you are usually the one that are usually known to walk alone, but you're alone for a reason. You're not alone because you're lonely or because you're depressed. You're alone because you're most often thinking of a master plan or thinking of a way to get out of your situation. You're not alone because somebody abandoned you or maybe even maybe you have felt that way in the month of March and beginning of February and maybe going towards the end of February. Maybe you did feel like, hey, I'm all alone in this, right? But you are not alone, honey. There comes a moment that if the opportunity is not for you, that opportunity is definitely for someone else within your circle. And it definitely could have a lot to do with a particular person that you know, either a woman that is going to introduce you into a new opportunity, or someone that you love is about to run into a master plan like no other involving someone who is extremely intelligent and know exactly what to do in the most extreme ways, you know, something that is really, really heartbreaking. They know how to come in and say, you know what, this is what we're going to do. And I feel like you, Capricorn, with all of your thinking and processing and feeling like, you know, I just can't take this anymore, feeling really overwhelmed. And if you mean to mess up that, you see the blessing. You see the blessing. And you stop in your tracks and you go, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to pray about this shit. Because at the end of the day, I feel like I've done all that I can do. I feel like I've prayed. I've fasted. I said what I can say. I've, I've done right by people. I've, I've practiced love and light. I've been faithful to my community. I've been faithful to myself and my spouse. And, you know, I've really tried my best eating well and living well and doing the right thing. So why? Why? Why am I not being accepted? <laughs> Capricorn, then there's going to come that epiphany. Why do I care about being accepted again? Hello, I'm the motherfucking high priestess. I don't got to sit here and wait for you to accept me. Because if you only knew what I knew that I could do, if you only knew what I was granted of, if you only knew my talent and my skills and my operation and what God has blessed me with, honey... <laughs> I don't need your validation. I don't need to sit around and wait for you to believe in me, to accept me, and to bring me on board as supervisor or, per, or as the boss. Or I don't need you to make me the CEO of your corporation. I don't need you to sit here and try to tell me that you want me to be manager because I'm about to own all of this shit. Yeah. Can I just get a little bit of confidence, Capricorn? Oh, yeah. Okay. For those of you... When I say that some type of grand opportunity is coming through, this is going to require a huge amount of confidence that is going to come to you that first week or even second week of March where you're going to have to really, really show up and show out and show just how bold and confident you can really be and just how, you know, anointed and creative as you can be. And these people, especially whoever this particular woman is or whoever this person is of authority, that did not actually believe in your gifts or your abilities at first, they would have no choice but to kind of take their hat off to you and respect your position. They would have no choice but to respect you and to admire you and to actually bring you on board. So this is really about you just taking control. You know, look at that. The first set of your cards said, take that leap of faith, my love. Take that leap of faith. Take that risk and put your heart true desire into action. Whatever you want, you better go get it, Capricorn. Stop sitting around and waiting for people to tell you what you already know. It's time for you to be honest with yourself. Your, your reading reminds me a lot of Scorpio energy, my love. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio or if you are, you know, friends with a Scorpio. Maybe even your boss is a Scorpio. I don't know. But this is a time for you to really kind of show up and show out and prove who you can really be. Okay? Because apparently they think they, they can just, you know, like... Sweep you under a rug. 
<laughs> but they don't know how fucking talented you really are. They don't know, you know, that when you say, bitch, beat it, you mean it. Bitch, beat it. <laughs> they don't know that when you call the shots, that you call the shots for real. Like, you're like, okay, I'm in the building. Watch out. Like, they don't know that energy about you, Capricorn. They know this serious, hmm, angry, you know, um, <laughs> dynamic force of a Capricorn. They don't know this move bitch get out the way get, like they don't know that energy about you they don't know that you're about to come in and fuck a whole bunch of stuff up they don't know that they don't know so can we please take a moment of silence to forget those who just don't know how powerful we are <laughs> hello okay yeah it's a never-ending story capricorn this is the moment you gotta lift your head up and say you know what I'm done. Oh, my God. Your reading is so similar to Scorpio's. It's scary. Guys, I don't know if you are done with the Scorpio or if you are friends. I'm telling you now. I don't. But there's a lot of Scorpionic energy here in your birth chart today. I'm telling you their energy was very similar. This can be someone from a past life experience. Okay. Maybe this person even have Scorpionic energy in their birth chart. But woo, Capricorn, I'm telling you, you better wake up. Maybe this is energy even telling you to dive deep into your dark side, just like the Scorpio, you know? Like, one thing that you and Scorpios have in common is that you are both okay and content with the dark side, right? And you're okay with that. Like, during winter, you guys are totally okay. Like, where everybody's tripping and bugging out, like, Capricorn and Scorpios are like, okay, well, bitch, what's next? You know, like, you guys are not threatened by when they turn the lights out or when they tell you you can't do something or when they try to put restrictions on you or when they tell you that you can't do something. You guys will come in and, like, take over and not give a damn about what anybody say. So it makes no... <clears throat> Can I just say that this is like, you are motherfucking dangerous, part three. Oh, Capricorn, you thought I was done? Yes. Remember when I told you that you were dangerous? That was part one. I said that you are still fucking dangerous, part two. And this is, you are still dangerous, part three. Because you are literally about to come out and shut shit down. And they never thought that you could. I don't know what it is about this past life experience. But something from a past life is reminding you of your, your connections and of your talents and of your gifts and of your soul membranes. Like, they're really here to remind you of your destiny. And this this could very well be someone that you are financially connected to, either your lover, your spouse, you know, your boss, you know, something that, or it could be definitely someone that is in your circle that is going to help you move forward. And you're going to be sitting there like, well, damn, I was about to move forward because you were taking too long. And they're going to be like, well, I had your back all along if you just shut the fuck up like I got you. And you, Capricorn, because you just always want to be in control, you're gonna, this is going to be one of the moments where you got to like really just like shut up. And like, <laughs> just like, hi, she just let somebody else do the work for once. And it's going to be an amazing experience, Capricorn. It's going to be an amazing feeling. Do you understand me? You are at the end of it all. You are tired and frustrated. You're like, bitch, let's roll that money. Let's roll them bands. Like, what's really good, okay? I'm ready to take that leap of faith. Whether you like me or not, I'm going to show you what I'm, what I'm made of. Because I can't keep sitting here just letting you tell me what I can and what I can't do. Like, I'm a Capricorn. That's not what I do, boo. I, I, I take charge. I, I go after what I want, you know? And I think, guess what, Capricorn? How about you doing that? They have no choice. They're going to take their head off to you and be like, respect. You know, they're going to have no choice but to show you that love and respect because they, they didn't believe that you were going to actually be crazy enough to really do it. And you're like, well, duh. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. You know, and for some of you, Capricorn, this could be a love situation. But for a great deal of you, this has a lot to do with your finances and your career, your passion, things that you are gifted for, okay? Things that you are destined to do. Let me tell you something, Capricorn, something that came over me while I was shuffling your cards. It is not always meant for you to fit in. If you feel like you are surrounded by people and for some reason you just can't seem to fit in, 
guess what, my love? It was not meant for you to fit in with them particular people. And that is why you are being brought to this environment with this new person, whoever it is. They, they got your back, Capricorn, but you got to relax. They got your back. You know, no more stressing. They got your back. They got your back. They got your back. <laughs> Capricorn, they got your back. <laughs> All right, wow, I put this card back and it came out again. Humor. <laughs> I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. In other words, I'm choosing to just let go all of my fears, all of my worries, all of my pain, all of my struggles. I'm, I'm just going to, you know, laugh or chuckle, you know, when things sometimes just don't make sense to me because I know God has a plan. He always has a plan. There's no way that I cannot be successful. I am creative. I'm talented. I'm, I'm smart. I'm beautiful. I'm handsome. Like, there's no way. So I have to learn to laugh at life's little moments, even when it makes me uncomfortable. I'm going to laugh and smile and say, God, I know you got me. And I'm going to just put that shit to the side, and I'm not going to stress about it. Hello. Okay. Wow, what did I say? For some of you, it's going to be all about your partnerships, relationships, people, connections that you have in the world. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Capricorn, what did I say? There's going to be someone that come in and say, listen, I'm going to help you. What is it that you need again? Well, what, do you, what, what is it that you really want to do? Because I'm willing to bet my last dollar that you will be successful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we just say that we want to be best friends with this person? Can we just, <laughs> just embrace all the love that they're giving you, Capricorn? Can we just embrace all the, the love and support that they're giving you? Woo! I feel it, and I'm getting excited. This is amazing, Capricorn. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm ready to dance. Yes, this is exciting. Purpose OMG. Okay, let me stop screaming. First of all, I'm I'm way too loud, but Capricorn. Oh um, my Purpose. Okay. I know what I'm here to do. <laughs> I know what I'm here to do. I know what I'm here to do. I'm not here to just be on a fucking back burner. Like, I got talents. I'm gifted. I'm successful. I'm beautiful. I have so much that I can bring to this place. But if only, if only you give me an opportunity to prove myself, I can show you what I'm really made of. Please give me an opportunity. Please allow me to show you what I'm made of. I'm so tired of sitting in agony, wondering how come this person don't see me. I'm ready to rise up and be something more than what I have been. I'm so tired of investing all of my time and energy into something that wasn't truly really worth my time. Whoo! I am desperately looking to go to higher places to do greater things. Please allow me or grant me the opportunity to be able to express myself creatively. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so ready to take that leap of faith, God. Just please hold my hand and don't let me go. Please guide me where you guide me. Walk me as I walk and talk with me as I talk. Be my guidance. Be my eyes. Be my eyes when I can't see. Be my ears when I can't hear. God, just be my guidance. Continue to bless me with that intellectual aspect of myself. The spot, the part of myself where I thought that was forgotten and long holding. People didn't see me. Please allow them to see that I know what I'm talking about. That I am. Ooh. Capricorn, can I go on? Okay? Listen, I can bring a lot of money to this place, okay? I was not meant to just sit on the bench. I've never been a person that just sit, a, sit on the bench and just watch everybody else be successful. Please let, allow me or grant me the opportunity to show you what I'm made of. Woo! I am so tired of, tired of being this way. I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm ready to show up and show out. This is my truth and this is who I am. That is my truth. That is who I am. And from that moment forward, I'm going to live my best life. I'm going to learn to laugh in the face of the devils and the people and the demonic spirits that learn to laugh at me. I'm going to show up and show out and show them what I'm really made of. Capricorn, I love you. And I'm praying for you because some type of past life energy is coming to you and reminding you of your gifts and of your talents and what you're really made of. And in the first two weeks of March, you get to see it first in hand, first and foremost. While others may see you guys being cocky, just remind yourself that you're not being cocky. You did all of this joy is coming from somewhere. 
all of this joy is coming from somewhere. See, you've been there and done that. Oh my God, you're reading my me so much of Scorpio energy. It's scary. You've been there and done that. You know what it feel like to feel pain. This is your time, Capricorn. When I say there's a breakthrough coming, my love, there's a breakthrough coming. And I want to celebrate you, Capricorn. I'm so proud of you. And I thank you for watching. I love you. There's a bell right there at the bottom. Please comment, like, and share, and subscribe. I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. Guys, when I say your reading really touched me, there's going to be some promotions. There's some elevation, prosperity, some type of recognition coming forth. When I'm telling you that a breakthrough is coming, even in your personal life, there is some type of breakthrough that you've been waiting on. Something that you've been banging to work out is working out, Capricorn. Just breathe. I love you. I really do. I love you. I cannot believe that I'm feeling this deep about your reading. It's so beautiful. Bye, Capricorn. See you next season.